She came back. Guess who's back from London? Who was it? Oh my god, Coulter! Hey man. Holy cow, what are you doing here? I just flew in this morning. I thought I'd drop in and surprise you guys. Is everything okay? Kirby seems a little... Yeah, no. Everything is very not okay. So Kirby just proposed to his girlfriend, and out of nowhere she freaked out, broke up with him, and left. He's been inconsolable ever since. Oh my god, that's terrible. When was that? Like literally 10 minutes ago. Are you kidding me? Yeah, <laughs> you couldn't have picked a better time to ring that doorbell. Shit. So should I leave or? No, no man, it's been like four years. It's good to see you. It's good to see you too, man. Are you vaccinated? Yeah, you? Yeah. Oh, thank god. <sighs> oh, I miss you so much. Let's do two, man. All right, come on in, brother. Be happy to. Now, I think Kirby misses you a lot, too. And I don't think he'd admit it. He was pretty hurt after you, you know. Yeah, I can imagine. Yeah. God, I'm worried about him, man. I've never seen him so devastated about anything. I mean, he's already down half a bottle of wine. Oh, poor guy. I know. So he really loved her, huh? Yeah, but... She never appreciated him. He was always the one that put in the most effort. Always cooked, always cleaned, always came up with things to do. I always felt like she took pride in having him do all the work in the relationship. So you think he'll be better off now? I think so, but he, he won't have any of it. I mean, to him, she's, she's just this perfect angel who could do no wrong. Damn, that's some heavy shit. I know. Which is why I think we need to, like, get him out of the house. You know? Yeah, that's head. a great idea. Yeah. Yeah. Should I come along? Of course, man. I think it would do him a lot of good if we got the band back together. All right, then. By the way, what's the guitar for? Oh, um, I have a gig, actually. You got a gig? Yeah. COVID? Uh, well, it's not a professional gig. Um, it's a family thing, playing for my grandma's birthday. Oh, nice. Granny G? Uh, no, Granny E. Oh, <laughs> I love Granny Yeah, our e. biggest fan. You know, she still has our first CD. Wow, I don't even have a first CD. You don't? No, I think Kirby threw it away after you... You know. Oh. Damn. Yeah. So, uh, when, when is it? Uh, seven. So we should have an hour or so? Okay, great. All right, I'm gonna go see if I can, uh, convince Kirby to come out. Let's go, bitches! Could you hear everything we were just saying? Yep. Oh, boy. Should we say something? No, we gotta let him make the first move. Are you sure we've been walking for like 20 minutes now? Yeah, trust me. It'll be any second now. Ah! Hold it. I do. You know that. Oh, fuck you. You're, you're just like her. You left me. You left us. I didn't leave you. I went to college. I had no choice. Oh, cut the crap. You didn't believe in us. You, you thought you were better off on your own, so you abandoned us and went solo. You're drunk. You wouldn't be saying this if you actually... No, no. I haven't wanted to say this for a long time. You didn't have faith in us. We hadn't booked a gig all summer, and then at the end of August, out of the fucking blue, 
You told us that you had made up your mind and, and that you were moving to London in a week. Look, okay, I should have let you know ahead of time. But what did you want me to do? I had a great opportunity and I had to take it. <laughs> he had a great opportunity. You hear this, Patrick? He had a great opportunity. Kirby. Two days after you left, a talent agent called us and told us that you wanted to bump us, bump us for bumper shoot. We got handed the biggest opportunity of our lives and we had to turn it down because you didn't stick with us. We booked bumper shoot? Yeah. Why didn't you tell me? Why didn't you tell us? We knew there was no point. You'd already made up your mind. We knew there was nothing we could do. Well, if you told me we booked bumper shoot, I, I would have come back. I would. It doesn't matter what you would have done. You'd already done it. You left. Goodbye. End of story. As far as I'm concerned, you're nothing but a selfish, phony, backstabbing piece of shit. I'm sorry. You're right, I'm sorry. I should have told you. I should have asked you guys what you thought. I should have stayed. We could have kept the band together long distance. I didn't have to break it up. I'm sorry I lied. And I'm sorry it took this long to say that I'm sorry. Yeah, whatever. Oh shit. What? The thing for Granny E. I need to call her right now. Oh, I'll help you. You good? Yeah, I wanna I wanna be alone right now anyway. Alright. Hey! I never stopped loving you. You're my brother. You always will be. Oh wait, I gotta play guitar. Oh, I got it. Okay. Happy birthday, Granny E! Happy birthday, Granny E! Oh, is that Kirby? No, it's Patrick. <laughs> oh, I'm so happy to see you. You know, I still have the very first CD you ever did. So I heard. <laughs> I wish you still made music. You boys were so talented. Well, we reunited just for you, Granny, for your birthday. Where's Kirby? Uh, he couldn't make it, I'm afraid. Oh, well, I miss him. You always sounded best when you played together. Yeah. Well, you ready? Take it away, maestro. Here I stand, head in hand, turn my face to the wall.
You've got to hide.